Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping, Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, January the 28th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. The stakes fill Saturday here, here, folks. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for one of two stake races on their card, Race 8, 3.57 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the affectionately handicap 8.5 furlong route test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Phillies and mares, three years old and up, racing for a prize of some $75,000. Contenders, number one, Katie Now. Number two, Love and Pride. Number five, Orbiston Parva. And number three, Bahama Bound. The affectionately handicap was named after Hearst Jacobs' remarkable mare, who was the 1965 sprint champion. She won 28 of 52 races, 18 of them stake race wins carried a staggering 137 pounds to victory in the vagrancy handicap. Affectionately was nicknamed the Queen of Aqueduct during her racing days. The Grand, Grand Mare retired in 1966 and was the dam of the well-remembered Preakness winter of 1907 personality. Here in the 37th renewal of the stakes test, number one Katie Now, the overall speed leader in the stakes field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in four of her last five outings with three of those efforts, including a win in her third race back, also qualifying as power runs. Number two, Love and Pride, a four to one shot, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, winning in her fifth race back. Race 8 summary, number 1, Katie Now tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 2, Love and Pride, number 5, Orbiston Parva, and number 3, Bahama Bound, 1, 2, 5, 3, and the 8th from Aqueduct, the $75,000 affectionately handicap. Let's go to Gulfstream Park, this Florida Sunshine Millions event racing uh, happening today. Let's go to the big feature race 10, 525 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Florida Millions Classic Stakes. Nine furlong test on the dirt. Four-year-olds and up race for $400,000. Contenders number three, Adios Charlie. Number seven, Ron the Greek. Number five, Turbo Compressor. And number six, Mucho Macho Man. Number three, Adios Charlie, the overall speed leader in the stakes field, racing at today's distance of nine furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Javier Castellano was in his irons for that last win 42 days ago here at Gulfstream Park. He's back today for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number seven, Ron the Greek, comes off back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two starts. Race 10 summary, number 2, Adios Charlie, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 7, Ron the Greek, number 5, Turbo Compressor, and number 6, Mucho Macho Man, 3756 in the 10th from Gulfstream, the $400,000 Florida Sunshine Millions Classic Stakes. Bonus long shots, Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Race 2, the 12 to 1 bomb, number 4, Spanish Kitten, the overall speed leader in this maiden field. Racing at or about today's distance of a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. Charlestown racing tonight, race number seven. Entry number six, love to the man, eight to one on the morning line. Drops in class by nine units. Nice overall speed for this six and one half for a long sprint. So handicapping on a Saturday afternoon from both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.